welcome in. You're listening to a daily editorial on the Coraline Economics Report. Actually, we're not going to make this a daily editorial. We're going to make this a weekend special. Okay, so you're on with a big guy, Jeff Deist, uh, this weekend, uh, Dell. Very uh, good. Going to do an update on premium exploration. We're at the Silver Summit right now, uh, chatting with Dell Steiner. Uh, a couple of things that that you need to be aware of before I begin talking with Dell. One of them is I am a bi- I am an investor in premium exploration. We uh, did part of the private placement, which I announced that we were going to do, and they also uh, recently uh, issued a debenture. And uh, Kathy and I, along with our friends Marshall and Vicky Barrow, also invested in that. So. Big Al, in this case, as you know, I don't. E- I have to say it, but I'm not even close to being arm's length with these guys. Dell and Ellie Steiner are close friends of ours. I've known Dell for 25 years, and he he probably has more of my money now than Kathy does. Congratulations. What's going on with premium? Everybody wants to know. We're moving along finally, Al, after getting the tech report filed in late August, uh, which was the trigger mechanism to get back on site and start moving the property after BC uh, Securities gave us clearance to commence re-exploring on the property. Uh, We started moving forward, then we had a a large forest fire on the property that started the 27th of August and finally was extinguished uh, about a week and a half ago, which gave us finally the ability to get on the site and uh, start looking at drill sites, getting ready for our drill program, we anticipated starting in early September. Now it's going to start in uh, early November. We were on site uh, three days this week. Christine uh, Copper, Mike Austinson, our VPX, and myself. We got to look at the drill sites, which weren't uh, within the boundaries of the fire, and have everything ready to start on that end of things. The forest fire actually burned off the south end of the property, which will take out some corners and things we'll have to uh, replace. But we had five inches of new snow on Tuesday and Wednesday, which pretty much secured the area as far as any future fire problem. We intend to flesh out the center portion of the resource, an area that didn't get counted in the current resource uh, pit shell estimate because of lack of sufficient drill holes so those holes will be drilled immediately which will add ounces and uh, move the the uh, pit to complete we then will block back in both ends uh, the property is open in north and south as you know and there's some drilling there that we have to redo that was drilled at the wrong angle historically and once that drilling is done we'll be back to the point we were uh, with our old resource estimates and in fact be in better shape because we gained over 50 percent of, of uh, indicated as opposed to being uh, substantially inferred in this new report. So all in all it's been a positive although it cost us seven or eight months of real grief to get it here but we're on the move again. On the move again. We're going to be chatting with Dell again whenever news breaks uh, on on premium exploration. Dell mentioned he was going to be in San Francisco. Uh, we will be doing another interview down there, probably video, so you'll be able to put a face with a name, for lack of better terms. Uh, don't take this as investment advice. Big Al's not a registered investment advisor. You know that. Uh, I'm also a shareholder in the company, and I also own a small portion of the debenture. You know, on a personal note, it's interesting. Kathy and I had dinner last night with, among other people, Marshall Barrel, and Marshall was uh, w- was talking about the debenture, and he thinks he really uh, stole something from you guys. He's very happy about that, but, you know, and I guess I am too. Dell, thank you so much.